In this video I'm going to show you how to do text effects in Flash. So in Photoshop it was pretty easy because we just had the layer styles and we could use those however we wanted. In Flash we don't have that. So what I'm looking at is the Flash text effects Word document. It is in on the server in the vector folder and it's just right here this Word document. So I would recommend you go ahead and open that up, take a look at it. Um, and I'm not going to have it up on my screen because I have a copy printed out here. Um, but basically what I'm going to be doing in this video is what's on here. So we're going to go to Flash and open a new document. We're going to grab the text tool and write some text. I'll write today's date. I'll use the selection tool and move it over here in the middle. You also want it to be a decent size. You may need to select it. And you can hit Command A to select all of it, and you can make it as big as you need to. So make sure it's decent size. So you can click in the properties, you can click and drag the slider, or you can just double click and put a different number in there, then hit Enter. You can also choose whatever font you want. Um, and pretty soon I'll show you how to add more fonts. There's a couple websites uh, that you can get some really nice free fonts from. So I'll show you how to do that. Uh, for now, just choose one of one of the fonts you already have installed. Okay. So the first text effect is a drop shadow. So what I'm going to do, because most shadows are black, is I'm going to choose my text and make it a different color besides black. So we'll say it's red. <clears throat> now, to make a drop shadow in Flash, we have to select it. I'm going to hold down Option and Drag. So just like in Photoshop, when you hold down Option and Drag, it's going to make a copy of it. You could also just hit, you could select it and hit Command-C to copy and then hit Command-V to paste. But I think it's easier just to hold down Option. So then I'm going to select the text I just copied. I'm going to change the color to black. And it changes it to black. Then I'm going to move it up. And you'll notice right now, and I can use the arrow keys to make small changes. Right now it's on top. And I want it beneath the red. So I need to right click, go to Arrange, and I need to either send it backward or send to back. And then I can use the arrow keys and I can move it wherever I want. So if we want to make the shadow look like it's further away, I can make it further down and maybe to the side. Or if you want to make it look like maybe the sun's kind of down to the left, you can move it up and to the right. So you can move it anywhere you want and the arrow keys on your keyboard is the easiest way to do that. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and delete that. The other text effects we're going to do um, involve breaking apart your text. So let's write maybe your favorite food. And right now it's 1030 lunch really sounds good about now and some steak sounds good. I wish I had some steak. So put your favorite food in there. If you don't have one favorite food, you like a bunch of different foods, just choose one. Okay, so now we're gonna select our text. We're gonna make our text then select it. So in our properties it says it's text. Then I'm gonna hit Command B. B is in break apart. I do that once, you can see it breaks it. It's still text, so I click on it in my properties. It still says it's text, but now they're individual letters, and I can move them apart however I want. Okay, we're not there yet. I'm going to undo that. So it's broken apart once, then I need to select them all, break them apart one more time. Now when I do that, I'm going to click somewhere else, then click back on a letter, and it tells me it's a shape. And since it's a shape, I can do lots more with it. Now the one thing you have to remember is you cannot change the letter. If you want to change it, you'd have to redraw it um, because it's no longer a letter. And now it's a shape. But now, if I want to add a stroke, I can grab my ink bottle and I can choose a color. So maybe I want a nice green stroke around it. And I can choose the size. So I'm going to choose uh, one point. And then I can add a stroke. And you can also change the style. Okay, so now you can add a stroke, and then if you wanted to, you could go back and you could change the size. So if you wanted to make it bigger, you could make it huge. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can. Okay, so that's how we can add a stroke. The other thing we can do, and I think this is the neatest part, is to use the free transform tool and I can you have to click on it to highlight it normally and you have the modifiers for the free transform tool modifiers are down here at the bottom 
So you have four different modifiers. The first one is rotate and skew. So with this one, obviously you can rotate it, you can flip it around. And I want you to notice when you flip it around, you see this dot in the middle? That's the axis. So if I move that maybe to this corner, I'm going to rotate it based on that axis. So if I grab this corner up here, it's going to rotate based on where I move that white circle. Okay, That's important. If you accidentally move that, <clears throat> and then you try to rotate it, and it's seeming like it's not rotating correctly, it's because you accidentally move that dot, because that's the axis of how it rotates. Okay, um, So that's pretty basic. Our next modifier, I guess also with the rotate and skew, if you move your mouse, usually kind of close to the middle, um, or right on the middle, on the top or the sides, top or bottom or the sides, you'll see your mouse changes to two arrows facing dr different directions. That lets you skew it. And I don't know when you'd want to do that, but if you ever need to, that's how you could skew it. Okay. Our next modifier is scale, and all scale does is make it bigger or smaller. And I want you to notice, if you drag it in the opposite directions, or in the opposite direction, it flips it over. Okay, so you can make it bigger or smaller. The last two modifiers are the neatest. So the next one is distort. So with distort, it's going to distort it. So you, you can grab any of these boxes and drag them out, and it's going to distort your text. So you can make it look really neat, make it look like it's kind of coming out at you. Okay, so that one's neat. This last one, I think, is even um, neater than that one. So the envelope. So you can see when you click on the envelope modifier, you have lots of different points. Each of those points you can click and drag, and you're going to change how it looks. You can also click on the boxes. So right now it looks pretty terrible. Um, but if you're careful and you take your time, you can make text look really neat with this envelope modifier. What you notice, these little points connected to the, the boxes here let you change the angle of things. So if you click and drag, you can kind of change the angle, and you can also dra drag it out further. Um, but that's what those little lines are connected to the boxes. Okay. There's lots of neat effects you can add to your text. So when you're making something involving text, you don't need to leave your plain, your text plain. You can add some uh, little extra flavor to it.